Whoa, do you feel that? What's that like? Anything, e everything. It's warm. We can probably use his boat. If I can just get it free. Careful, uh. lad. Ah! Why are these things so fast? already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have helped that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. <laughs> if you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Did you see that over there? That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. <laughs> if only we were in Midgard. That water would be frozen in the second. Brother, 
You think freezing it would work? Why is you use your axe on it? Tyr was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the Rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some more 
thing if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartelfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartelfheim? I lie. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Think we can fit under that bridge? They cap those geysers. <laughs> hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach.
Find anything good up there? We froze one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? Okay. The wheel's moving and the gate's coming down. That's more of an ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Do you really think Odin would honor his end of the deal? That if we keep our distance, he'll leave us alone? No. That does not mean I intend to fight him. Perhaps we find a new home, where neither he nor Freya can trouble us. But... once we find Tyr, he can help us fight. Fight? That's, uh... not what I meant. Obviously, we have so much to learn from Tyr. Any way he can help us is good, right? 
Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm? Too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. Nista. Gotta get behind it. But how? Nista! Father, up there. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. <laughs> Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. Target down! 
You can uncover that geyser from here. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. <laughs> Locks coming down. else we can hit? Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. could try hitting the rope holding the block. Nista! Nice one. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Can you see anything from that block? What about freezing the guys are under the wheel? Maybe?
Vlad, if I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. All of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and the smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of the brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk we to don't you for want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Thank you. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. These cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Uh. Whew. 
There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of Valir. How was I supposed to know they were there? The Alpha! Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. This axe just keeps getting stronger. Till we meet again! What can I make for you? Hey, what happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Another of Cavassia's poems.
Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side, too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. Where to is not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. This looks promising, right? That's well, like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of Mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off.
Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Darlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following me. Was being the key word here, little brother. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, are you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Hey, it's another one of those geysers, but huge. Maybe we could check it out later. We can see it fine from here. <laughs> Those mining rigs sure spit out a lot of smoke. Ymir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard. And Enough. We will continue later. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. <laughs> One less every spy. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. <laughs> Not quite right.
got to be the right spot. Those bottles. I smell fuel. <laughs> Bet a spot from your blades would cause quite a boom. Break through the ground here. If you found a high enough place to drop from. Yeah. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. <clears throat> the Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye.
impressive. That should help. <laughs> <laughs> 